story. That story for tomorrow. Sorry, the phone care story. Should I have saved we it can for tomorrow? Still talk about it tomorrow, but mm-hmm. for me, I mean, it's, our response is absolutely brilliant. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I think all the talk to me is it's it's I don't know. I'm I want to pick my words because <laughs> no, I do, I do. I want to pick so, and I I want to. I think all the comments about her leaving the stage and i think they're absolutely wrong to be honest i think they're nonsensical you know you know there's this thing if you're old enough you're good enough so if you're old enough to if you're well she's old enough obviously but she's still good enough and for the young ones coming through what have we heard we heard i think charles talk about nerves mental health problems from the younger people that's as i said it's nonsensical talk from every and you know i'm but in, in taking my words carefully, I think she has a right to play the game. She's still winning medals. She's still mm-hmm. effective. So, in fact, this is a, a form of ageism, you know. Mm. You, you know mm. why? Why? Why should she walk away for other people? Why? She's still fit. That's what it means. She can still play. She can still play the game. Once she can still play the game, then she's good enough. It's not about nepotism. It's not she was foisted on, 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 on the, the and it's an individual game. It's an individual sport. I mean, t- tennis is is um, is uh, a, a great example. Djokovic, with his uh, how many Grand Slam titles? Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, he's literally literally the oldest player on the circuit that is still playing right now. That that is older, but he's injured. Um, Roger has retired. I mean, who else is playing that's older than um, that's older than uh, Novak? Maybe Vavrinka. Do you understand? Not possibly. I mean. But at 36, Novak is literally, you understand. And he's pounding everybody. So, hey, guys, I think who should relax. But I love her response. Very dignified. And she, she says, oh, she's still winning, you know. Unfortunately, she couldn't qualify for the Paris Olympics. It is what it is. So, I personally, I, I don't want to hear it anymore, really. I think she's done. She's done. She's, um, she's, and she has apologized to the negative people out there. You know, okay, okay I'm sorry that my existence offends you. But it is what it is. Um, another story which I find negative and offensive is um, mm-hmm. not because of the, uh, what you might call it, not mm-hmm. because of the story was put out there, but the fact that, that the story is there is, the, the, the fact that the story is there, the fact that the story is there is, um, this Delta State, um, the, the youth games, the youth games, yeah. Um, what you might call it? I don't understand the explanation. It was supposed to post, be hosted early in the year or early in the month, and now you can't. You claim you are Delta State, you claim you have all the facilities, you have all the money, you, comp- you can't provide decent accommodation for your athletes. That's Balderdash. You know, I, I I don't know how we do things. Must you must you host the tournament? I don't know. I I, I don't get it. You know, and then people say eh, we are, we're always bringing up the negative. But yes, we will bring up the negative because what you are doing is wrong. I've seen those videos. Those videos are disgusting. Lots of those videos are fake. Why? Why would I send my children to go and stay in such substandard conditions? It's not fair now. You know, I, I I know I'm if you under, and if you look at it, these people collect top dollar or top naira. To, you know, they collect all the money to organize this thing, and they don't deploy the resources where it's supposed to be for the complete comfort of the athletes. It's all right. I think we need to stop this. Really, I think I think we do. In, in this 2023 now, we, huh? we've got Charles Arazodo on the line. He has a response to make. On one of the stories of the news out. Yeah, you should go ahead now. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good um, morning. Morning, guys. Um, in, in response to the last issue that um, Shadow raised about the youth games, you know, as much as we condemn what we saw um, via the pictures that actually went viral yesterday, uh, we also have to, we have a duty to also report both sides of the story. Because the Delta State government have also reacted to those pictures and put out a post, you know, showing um, the accommodation for, for, for the youth, for the games. And that the reason that they gave is that the pictures that were seen earlier were the students or the athletes 
arriving, you know, uh, Delta states initially before all of the uh, newly found accommodation was now given to them. So as much as we want to uh, castigate, which I support, I mean, if those kind of conditions were were um, available uh, for the kids to use, which is really, really an ISO, we should also remember to report the other side, which is what the Delta state governments have also put out, so that our listeners are able to judge for themselves. You know, um, concerning Shunkeo Shanaike, yeah, I saw her post yesterday, and a lot of people were for and against. If you look at the comment section, you know, under what she said, you'd find that people were divided as far as the issue is concerned. You know, Shevin talks about Djokovic at 36 and all the whatnot. Yeah, but Djokovic and all the others who are still playing are winning Grand Slams. When, when, when was the last time that Funke Oshanaike won anything for herself individually outside of the, of the uh, team event? When exactly? I must look, it's, it's all about listening to your body, yeah, at the end of the day. And if your body says, look, I can still go on and continue to play, then go ahead and play. You know, go ahead and play. But if it's detrimental in any way to finding more talent, existing talent for the nation, then you should take a bow. Take a bow when the ovation is loudest. When the same from Kyoshanaike begins to lose games and doesn't qualify anymore, it's the same people who are lauding her now that will continue to criticize her and tell her why did she leave when the ovation was louder. Uh, I, I make reference again to the issue concerning, um, what's his name, the Super Eagles captain. We can't pick and choose when to criticize and when to keep quiet. If you think that, um, well, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Ahmed Musa feels that, knows that his body can still get him a place in the Super Eagles and the, and the, and the national team coach deems it necessary to invite a player of his passer because there's something that he can still give, then why can't we accept that? Why can't why are we why are we you know speaking from both sides of the mouth? Are you done? Um as usual I, I totally disagree with you. Yeah of course you no, would no, I, I will That's disagree with normal. you but first things first uh, hold on now. Does she does Fuka Shonake qualify in the local in locally to represent Nigeria? Yes or no? Does she qualify? Does she qualify locally? When she qualifies locally, what does she bring home? No, that's not the issue. What does she, she qualifies. No, 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 that's not the issue. If she fails no, to no, qualify, she, that's then she, the issue. It doesn't that's matter. The issue. It's not uh, just what, about what qualifying. Does, what does it's anybody, about what, qualifying and making the most out of it? Uh, how, many, how, how many of our. Uh, 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 talk about the fact that, look, these people who are invited to the Super Eagles are taking the place of youngsters who look, could possibly. You are talking about team sports and individual. No, you are, she's taking the place no, of other people who no, can no, actually no, no, bring no, something no, to Nigeria. No, and but, that's my but you, are, you are arguing. You are arguing to and fro. You are the one talking out of both sides of her mouth. You said she wins team events. Now, you are, and first is first. Tennis is an individual sport, so individually she still qualifies to play for Nigeria, and she won a gold medal and two silver medals in team sports. Does now, Ahmed Musa not qualify to play for Nigeria? Does he not? It, it, uh, yes, he does. In does a team sport, in a team sport, as a Nigerian, as a Nigerian. But what does he offer when he plays? Little enough in does, a what team. Do you mean, what does, what, okay, what does Funke offer when she plays for Nigeria? She wins she in team sports. When last did Nigeria win anything? The, the, the event that you talk about is a double event. Yeah, but it's a, she, but she it won it. She, she, it she won it. Are you telling me any woman off the streets can go and win doubles? Is it that easy? Why are you denigrating and downplaying her? That's not what you're doing. What you're doing is very unfair. Individual things here. What they talk about it? Which, what, in it, it what? When last in Nigeria win anything? At the age of forty-nine. Forty-nine. When, when, when so, so, but she's what still winning something. If she's playing a double, she's contributing that quota to it. Fifty-fifty. When last? If we are using that your yardstick. When, when last in Nigeria win anything? Win a tournament. This is not a joint effort. This is not a joint effort. So when last in Nigeria? Why do we condemn? Why do we condemn one individual out of twenty-four? My 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 dear, if you look, if you want to make a point, make a point. What about Zim doesn't? No, no, no. I, I disagree. And your defense of Delta, your defense of Delta State government here this morning. Your, look, your defense of Delta State government this morning doesn't work for me. I invite you to my house. I invite you to my house, and you come to my house, and I give you a bare mattress to sleep on, and I'll be an issue. Then I sort out later. It is wrong, whether you sort it out or not. Be prepared for me as your guest. 
And so why are you coming with the defense? Where is the defense coming from? Because they are now doing their job. You are now praising them. You need to look at stories. What stories? From how? That's the job of a journalist. No, you don't tell me what to look at. No, you do not tell me. You do not tell me what to think. No, you don't. listeners are able to make a judgment, an effective judgment. An effective judgment. They will listen to it based on what they hear. Yes, we know that the kids have been lying down on mattresses. Yes. Yes, that's a fact. Oh, that's a fact. But you also have to report the fact that the Delta State government have said that this and this and that, and then let the public make a judgment for themselves. Does it make it right that Abby knew that that's that's what they did? That is the etiquette of broadcasting. Um, You know what, um, Mr. Anasodo, I'm not... I'm not here to be. I'm not here to be lectured by you this morning. You understand? I'm not here to be lectured by you. I will give my own opinion on the story, and I feel what the Delta State government did is extremely wrong. It's very, very wrong. Any which way you slice or dice it, you understand? And so, what is what is your question? Uh, so I should now pat them on the head when they finally got it right. That you report both sides of the story. This is what the Delta State government have said about the issue. And you tell the public the same thing as well. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they shouldn't have got it wrong in the first place. They had time to organize it. They had time. They said it themselves that the thing should have taken place earlier. I've never heard such an illogical explanation before. And now that now that it's been postponed, they couldn't get accommodation. Why? You don't have a plan B. What are this administration? You have you have for one job to organize some people to do their jobs. Nigeria is a country where there's no accountability and people don't just take responsibility for everything. Instead, what they get is people coming out yeah, and, and trying to explain the way things for them. I refuse to take that stance. And I'm sure a lot of our listeners will hear this and, and take the stance I'm taking. So you did wrong and then you now did you eventually did the right thing and you are now looking for praise. Praise for what? Do your job. I'm just, you, you, you know, m- most of the time, Shegu, you just don't always listen. When you take a stand, it just seems like nothing else. And no one is asking you to deviate from whatever stand you're taking. All I'm saying is that from the ethical point of view, that's all I'm saying, that you report both sides of the story. This is a situation in which the um, athletes have found themselves. No doubt about that. We're not denying that fact. But then again... This is what the state government has said, and this is what they have put out. Because if you've seen the pictures of the hostels and how it's been improved upon, then you would understand exactly what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you don't have a right to condemn the state government. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The athletes have been put in a sorry situation, and they demand and they deserve every kind of pity that they should be getting. But I'm also saying that for the sake of the job in which you find yourself, report both sides of the story. Reports that they finally got so it right. People who are listening to you can judge for themselves judge. and express their own thoughts. That's all I'm saying. No, but I don't understand what you're I'm saying. Honest, I don't. Of, I'm not taking the side of anybody. But that's the way it sounds. That's the way it sounds. Of journalism and reporting the facts as it is. Simple. What are the facts? The facts are they didn't do their job. Not so. That is the fact now. That is the fact. Oh, that's the fact. Anyway, anyway, anyway that's, that's what it is. All right. Um, another story. Uh, Messi. I don't know what Messi wants. To be honest with you, because in fairness to Messi, Argentina lost to France, or rather, in fairness to PSG. PSG is France. One of the France's captain or the the stand-up player Mbappe lost. They lost a, so I, 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 it's it will only be human if PSG was over the moon, you know, you know. I don't know. I, I, I think footballers should take it easy a bit and all, you know. If that's what if you say that's why you left PSG, all well and good. But I, I, I don't see anything wrong with PSG PSG's low key celebrations of Messi's winning the you know, uh, winning the World Cup. It would have been much appreciated and all that. I mean, as, as a member of their squad. But lauding him and celebrating that would have been rubbing salt in the wounds of um, of um, the French players in PSG and um, Bappe especially. And for me, there's something that you, you take you take defeat with the committee and, and you take victory with grace. So I think maybe Messi should have been a bit more graceful in that matter. But 
he's moved on everybody's moved on so that's my take on that as for um the united story um about stars be the united players behaving badly speedy outside trading ground <sighs> nothing can surprise me coming out of that club right now as for Jaden sancho i would not shed a tear if he never kicked a ball for manchester united again up to now he's refused it took him eight days to take down the scapegoat post and up to now he's refused to apologize to ten Hag. so it's um it's just part of what um united has created they created a monster um that's one of the reasons on monday night football and thank you for, thank you for joining us yesterday on monday night football i was really surprised at roger's behavior because give it say what you will about city you know whether they spend all the money in the world you don't see their players behaving badly you don't see them bad mouthing their coach you know and they generally behave themselves on the field of play as well they play within well within the rules so Rodri's behavior again gets is getting sent off against uh, Nottingham for a surprise when I'm sure that Pep is going to throw the book at him you know behind closed door, door, doors of course and for anybody that comes out there and says Ten Hag shouldn't have criticized Sancho remember that Sancho Ten Hag gave Sancho three months off last year to go and sort earlier in the year to go and sort out his issues which had which were not football related and showed him maximum support so i think there's a limit to anybody's patience when dealing with um with uh, what you might call it um errant uh, or footballers behaving badly what's that for you uh, quite a number of stories. The MPFL starts in this weekend. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, yeah that's I, very good. That means you'll be called into duty. Mm, that's very good. That's the good part of it. Mm. At least we get. But look, and I know that I'm trying my best to be balanced in terms of I don't want to bring out the hammer and start drumming. I'm glad the league is starting, which is a good story. Um, I don't understand why we do this. It's it's not good, not just for the outlook. But for the football clubs itself. So I was speaking from the point of the football clubs. We already have four clubs on the continent this season. And the whole idea of starting the league... down to two. Two, Possi- yeah. Possibly one. And the whole idea of having four clubs, or the whole idea of, sorry, the whole idea of this whole plan, the IMC organization, is to help build the league. To help make our teams compete. To help make our teams be stronger. Now, we may not buy the best players around the world or on the continent, but at least even domestically, we've got players who together have played a long time. We saw what Plateau United did last season. Now, while they didn't go far in the Champions League, you could tell there was a plan, there was a philosophy. And because they stayed together, even the manager spoke about the pitch that, oh, the pitch we're training is smaller. Where we went to Abuja is bigger. And my players don't play in that sort of pitch. We play in a smaller pitch where we can control spaces. We know what we're trying to do. I'm saying that we're not helping our clubs. We're not helping them on the continent. We're not even making our clubs be professional in that court. If you ever take a Nigerian club side now, internationally, we'll struggle because we don't have enough football games. And then you now pack games together. Brrr. My point here is, while we're going through this, why couldn't the FA Cup just start? Because at some point, you now start modeling the FA Cup every week, week in, week out for the players. Meanwhile, we could have had a couple of rounds the NFL needs to start thinking out of the blue or out of the box, out of sorry. The box. Out of the box. Not just bring ideas out of the blue and say, you know what, we don't run this. I'm not going to come here and say, oh, we're on serious. Mm-mm. We all know that. Let's not even open that Pandora's box. Mm. I'm saying that we need to think about how our clubs will compete, how our clubs will be better equipped for the continent because this automatically trickles into Chan. There's a ripple effect. This trickles into Chan. If we don't play competitive football over a long period, we don't get to see players yeah. that will form the Chan team. Um, but you, you know, the holding brief for the MPFL, yeah, um, what is, has been the bane of Nigerian football in the past 20-odd years? I'm asking you. If you don't know the answer, to it, it's funding. Money. Money has been, we don't get sponsorships. There's no money in the game. So, at this point, I'm sorry for interrupting. At this mm. point, mm. beyond the money that we know, has any new money coming? Uh, that's, that's the point. As I said, I'm not privy. I understand. I'm just looking for, as an outsider looking, mm-hmm. and I'm using logic here. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, the whole essence of the game is, if you want to make our game better, it has to be better funded. I think that's the bottom line. In football, 
literally money makes the world go round. You don't have the reason that we all talk about the Premier League and other leagues now is because there's money in the game. There's money, good money in the game. We don't have that kind of, and the North African game, even in places like Tanzania, maybe Zambia, you know, so called lesser, you know, their private sponsorships and private in sector participation and all that. There's money. So we're trying to create that, that uh, background in Nigeria now. And in answer to your question, where Aimba got 100 million naira last week, now the, the league winners season will get 150. I would have preferred 200 million or more. But that means at least we're heading in the right direction. So yes, it's unfortunate that we didn't start at the right time. But as I said, I said it on, I think, Monday Night Football last week, not yesterday. I think on this platform, I think there's some things that they're trying to... to Okay, I dotting the I's and crossing yeah. the T's, and um, that's that's all we have to do. Okay, we'll go for a break and we'll come. We'll be right back. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. We've had a, a rather um, excitable um, dis- next discussion of new sound. So, let me messages from calls. Messages. Oh yes, I'm going to go through a few of your messages this morning coming in. Uh, let's see. So this one here says, um, "Hello, my favorite sports crew. You guys have cracked me up so hard. Uncle Shego is officially the dirtiest man on planet Earth." Yemi for me, Bedjuleki. Yemi, which I do you now? Oh, it's yeah. at the start of the show. Um, but I don't know. Have you finished your thoughts on the NPFL? Yeah, yeah um, I, basically. Um, yeah, let's let's move on from that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, Taufik Hussein he says, uh, "Paying attention is very good. It happens." Uh, it happens to me just the way you said it. I dressed like a banker when I was teaching in a private school and they really portrayed me well in the school and in my community. What's he talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Because so, I realized that you were more <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Kelvin from Surulere says, The song Kyle played just now was 1988 or 89 by the Mandators. Then things were not this bad, but the signs were already there. See where we are today, and for our league, I hope to see an improved league. Mm, we all do. Baba Lola the Gaffer says, Good morning, all. Oh, Mr. Shego, um, where's Mr. Charles? I understand you're a boat close. Kindly help advise him to get sales boy or girl for that shop and stop skipping sports. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People should at least fear God if they can't fear human being. Okay, okay, we're all going through. The situation of the golf thing, but hey, we'll wait to see how that story turns out. Um, Olawale says, Why do we love holidays so much in Nigeria? Tomorrow has been declared as Molud Nabi, as Eid Molud for the Muslims, and next Monday would also be declared as Independence Day holiday. Don't take a crack at that. Public nope. holiday, or <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> to be fair, public holiday means the road is free. Well, yeah, we come to the office faster. We go day here Monday, but the grace day here yeah, faster. <laughs> uh, good morning, sports and crew. Funke Shinaike is on point. Well done, guys, doing a great job. Cosmos, thank you very much for your message. We've also got the same good morning. Um, on the Funke Shinaike issue, calling for her to leave the table tennis stage is insulting. I've listened to Mr. Charles and some others on this matter, and I don't agree with them. Imagine if we asked Mr. Charles to also retire from his work for the younger ones. This was the same way we asked JJ Okocha to retire, and to date we never found replacement for him. As long as she's fit and winning, I think she should still play. Same as Ahmed Musabala from Surulere. Uh, we've got the Shola on the road says, Good morning, Uncle Shagun, please don't say... Okay, um... Okay, all right. Uh, it says don't say nonsensical because people don't agree with your point and still say you are picking your words. Then Shola, me let me repeat always that. Always ask listeners to no, descend uh, from me, this uh, sorry. Shola, let me repeat that. Some arguments on our folk have been nonsensical. All right? Thank you. I'll repeat it again. Some arguments have been nonsensical. I'll say it again. Moving on. I, I don't agree with that sentence. I think that it's from, we all see the world differently. No, right. what and I, we will not see the world. No, no, matter. So, so, no for me, it's for me because I like what one of my brother because because they've been just downright insulting. Do you understand why? I mean, somebody's performing. You know, I, I, I don't. To me, it's nonsense. That's no, uh, that's it's, and that's why, and, and that's yes. why I think I think we differ on this. And I've always said originally, I think that Funke Ashunaka should retire, and that's my opinion. Yes. However, the fact that she wins, I cannot say oh kick out no. 
because she's winning, I back off. I say, you know what? You're oh, winning. Because she's winning, you back off. Because she's winning. No, but I, if she's I, not I, winning... I will, I will freely admit. If she's no, not winning, she's still trying to force that, her way into the national no, team. I'm I will like, freely no admit, way. for instance, that Funke has not been as dominant as she... And how old is she? 49, 49 years to, old. To, to which she should even be praised. Her. I mean, if we want to use Venus, for instance. Venus is mm-hmm. now 42, 43, there Venus is not winning anything. Be doubles yes. or singles. She generally gets the first round of character, but, but she's still playing from course. She, she's a multi millionaire. She could do anything else. Yeah. I don't see anybody, anybody calling, although she's not no, represented. And that's what, no, but no, that's it. So that's what we're, you keep saying table tennis is, a, is an individual sport. Yeah. It is not. Table tennis is also a team sport. And she, and, and so I'm saying which, that. And which buttresses my argument that she's in the team sport, she's winning. So I'm saying that she has the club side. And this is where my argument starts from. She has the club side. Play club table tennis. Leave the national team scene. Why? For and I'm saying that we, when we talk about progression, you were here when Barrister Obi spoke about the number one t- uh, badminton player. Mm-hmm. You spoke about the plan any told you they had for that player. Yes. And how they started the plan and why we're having this longevity. I'm saying here now that she has had longevity. Shago Torella was also in the same scene. They've had longevity. Mm-hmm. But you can keep playing table tennis, club table tennis. It doesn't stop you. The national team is always to ensure that there's continuity for us long term. Because if tomorrow, I, I, at the moment, if tomorrow Funke Shunaike retires, yes. we'll be left with Fatima Belo of Young Edem. I don't think Cecilia Otoakban still plays at that level. I'm not very sure. So it's time to be corrected. That's what we'll be left with. And then they'll have to bring out some young ones now to come and they'll do trials. But now. it's the national team. The same reason somebody, hey, put, somebody put out a post by saying Venus doesn't play for the, for the US. I'm saying it's not like Venus cannot try. But naturally, you know that, okay, no, you know but, what? But, I'm going to get the... But I don't, you see, okay, maybe mm-hmm. he's not saying no, nonsense. Uh-huh. Okay, so you don't I'm, agree with I it. I don't understand the logic of it. No, you don't know. No, no you I, don't no, agree. I don't understand. No, I don't know. No, you I don't, don't agree. Da- no, because, no, because the argument is all about dancing. It's the national the team. The girl is still winning. Who is beating her? It's the national no, team. No, excuse me. To qualify, okay, ask, educate, prefer me. In order for Fuke or Shamanke to play for the national team, how does she, she just walks in? Comes no, out, that's not no. No, no you're saying no. Trials, you are still bringing no, no, no. I'm saying here that she should not be playing trials. She should. Not that's be. my position is step. You know what? I've done my time in the national team. I'm leaving. No, because immediately we speak about no. different things. Now. Is it, no, I'm saying that she should retire by start of the sentences. She should retire. And I she's not retiring okay, because. And I don't agree with you. I say uh, no. so. Uh, we disagree. So my, uh, I, I've not said. I don't see the logic in your I'm argument. Not, Abi, is I'm, that I, I was close to saying I did not see the logic yeah, yeah, argument. Yeah, yeah, but fine, I don't see the logic <laughs> argument. I don't think that's okay. abusive now. Okay. I don't see. I don't see any logic in it whatsoever. Okay. All right. Um, let's go through more of your messages. Emmanuel from Oregon says. <laughs> if you woke up, what, what, what? My friend, you're in the studio. Talk. The camera yeah, has you already. The, the, the camera, camera has you. Studio, yes, the, the camera has you. Me. You, you probably just left your house. You come, come, come here. Be, the camera has you. So there's no you can't do it. You've been just yanning oops <laughs> since <laughs> morning. You've been yanning oops since <laughs> morning. Where did they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they worry you? Where did they worry you? Oh goodness me! Uh, uh, Ah. Wait till they worry you, <laughs> Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Delta State Government. No, but the thing is, Shegun. What? You have to serve both sides of the story. That's all I'm saying. I'm not here in support of Delta State. Because what the kids supposedly went through mm. was disheartening. So, supposedly. Do you know why I say that? Yes. Because even those pictures, somebody can tell you that those pictures were taken God knows how many years ago. Because you have to prove it. So you don't believe that. I'm story. not saying I don't believe it. What I'm saying, Shengu, is look, you always have to place both sides, especially when there is another side of the story available. So how do we out so why should I believe how do I know that Delta State has actually corrected have okay, let me use use your words. Delta State has supposedly fixed the problem. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, so how do I I don't how do I drive the to believe them? The pictures that they put out, how do I know those pictures are not concocted? Yeah, Superior all logic. What I think is, no, but what I think we cannot deny is that from what the sports commission have said, there were loads of irregularities or inconsistencies. Yes, that's what I was searching for. When the game should have started and finished, school would have resumed. So you would have still had the same problem. So that means you should have thought about no, this. What is yeah, it's not about the problem exists. 
No that, one's denying it, that. Uh, but they got the the sports it, commission. It, it does exist. Says yes. it exists because of this problem. No, it, mm -mm. the point now is not about why the problem exists. That's mm -hmm. not the point. Okay. The point is that somebody put out a picture which went viral. Yes. Yeah. And the state government reacted and said, "Okay, yes, that was the situation. Mm -hmm. But as we speak, this is the situation." But but do so, uh, no, but, but so, does that make you right? No, so no, it it's, was, it's not about whether it's mm -hmm. wrong or right, Shegun. We're, we're not here to debate that. No, but this, the state government should still get stick for allowing exactly. the wrong exist. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yes. Like, like I said, mm -hmm. you condemn the state government yes, for what they did because they, okay, we're talking yeah. about children yeah, here. Yes. 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 Yeah. But in that same vein, mm -hmm. also tell the story of the state government so yeah. that the people who yeah. are listening are aware Agreed. Agreed. that there are two sides of the story. That's Agreed. what I'm saying. No, but, that, but in Agreed. that case, Charles, there are no two sides. They were wrong. They, now they, they are. Have, now they are. I know he's saying that. No, it's one story. No, no, no. He, it's, no it's two stories. So the story is it was bad. Yes. The government and then they corrected is in the process. Themselves. Yes. So you have to state that the government is in the process of doing X, Y, Z. It's like saying the MPFL. It is wrong. That you postpone the league a couple of times, but there are reasons but moving for forward, no, 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 no. What are the reasons? Are everybody has a reason. Everybody has an excuse. But moving forward, the league will start this weekend. Okay, so the, so what the, gov the Delta say has? An I'm excuse. not saying it's right. No, I'm saying that the, the IMC has an excuse for not starting the league. But the league is starting this weekend. Anyway, let's find out what our listeners think.